How about a, a nice win for the Phillies? And again, you might say to yourself, nice win. They almost blew it against the Pirates. Yeah, but the fact that it's almost and not did is why it's a nice win to me, DRS, because typically this ends with a no decision for Zach Wheeler and a Pirates uh, victory as the Phils sit there saying, and we've wasted any momentum we had off the Braves series. So I maintain this was a nice win. It was. One through nine in the lineup, Kevin. Every single player got a base hit here. It looks like outside of uh, Stott and Gregorius, every single player scored a run. Now, when we talk about Kyle Schwarber, it goes yesterday, what, two for five, three RBIs, going long again, his 32nd in the season. Like, ooh, is he in that MVP race? What's he hitting about now, K-Dub? 295, 300. He raised his average to 204. It's a, like it's like in Philadelphia, and again, like, Kyle Schwarber is fun to watch because he hits a lot of home runs, but how does he have mm -hmm. 32 home runs, which is 32 hits, and you only have a 204 yeah. average on the season? It almost doesn't compute. And then you see he went two for five yesterday, and that raised his average. So is he going to be a 198 hitter with 47 home runs? And quite frankly, usually you say to yourself, hey, we can deal with that in like the fifth, sixth, or seventh hole here. Just a power guy trying to drive in runs. He's the Phillies leadoff hitter hitting 204. My goodness. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, this is the, the thing. And, like, you know, I don't know how many people are interested in Joey Gallo's slander, but at least I know I am. This is all you have to do. Kyle Schwarber's batting 204, and he is consistently praised, constantly yes. applauded for what he brings to the table, Donnie, because he has 32 mm -hmm. long balls. Like, that's all it takes. Like, his OPS is nearly outside of the top 40, which should be impossible for somebody with the second most home runs in the yeah. sport. But it's because he never gets, like, any, he doesn't do anything other than hit home runs. And we're like, ah, what do you think? Schwarbs, top five MVP? I guarantee you. Do they do that in baseball? Do they do, like, top five MVP ballots? I, I, I think they do. Like, Schwarber is going to land on someone's top five MVP ballot with his 204 batting average DRS. Yes, if the Phillies make a wild card, which would be the first time in about a decade that they've got into the playoffs, he will be. And it just goes to show you, when we talk about, like, the ruination of baseball, where it's like, hey, man on third, one out, should be automatically you just put the ball in play and score a run. These guys don't change their swing. Like, Kyle Schwarber knows, look, I just signed a monster contract because I hit 204 in a season and I can hit home runs. It's why Joey Gallagher said, Joey, let's change your swing a little bit, man. No, don't you understand? I'm in this league because I hit 160 because every six games I hit a solo home run, and that's good enough for a big contract. That's the way it is because if you look at hitters like Ben Intendi, hey, it's over 300. Hey, yeah, all right. He's a nice option in the outfield. Ooh, Joey Gallo, where can I get that guy at? That guy hits bombs.